everybody, how y'all doing? Today, I'm going to be playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Now, those who don't know how, to, how this game works, I'm going to basically be a Pokemon in a world that's only inhabited by Pokemon. On top of that, there's also going to be an incredible story that I just can't get enough of. And for those who have never played this game before, I tell you, please, please, Play the game. Please! I'm just gonna play the intro. The music's good. Let's just get it. Alright. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon explores a sky. Let's get into it. And let's see. Oh, it's Squawile, nice. Nice. Those who don't know, he is actually a very violent character. I won't say how, but throughout this many part series, you'll see. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you start your adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. I didn't say yes! <laughs> Did you play Explores of Time or Explores of Darkness? Yes. Have I ever blurted something out without thinking about the consequences first? Yes. Your friend has a spectacular fall. Takes a spectacular fall. Help my friend up! My friend offers to treat me to dinner. What do I do? I'm there. What's your studying style? Working hard every day? If I remember to, I just cover what I need to. I can't really do it alone. My studying style, huh? Working hard every day, I guess? I mean, I'm studying art, so... Do you think it's important to always aim to be the best? It's not always important. Have you ever realized I was hogging the conversation? Uh, on occasion. Do I want to be famous? Yes. Everyone's sharing a dessert, and there's an extra piece. What do I do? First come, first serve. Am I male or female? Male! Now, my aura will be analyzed. Ah, the stuff Lucario is familiar with. It's the energy I radiate. Now. Now I just gotta calm myself and press my finger against the bow. Which is the mouse click. Alright, here we go. My aura has officially been identified. I lifted my finger from the mouse. Ooh. A gentle mint green. Thank you for answering all the questions. I seem to be the lonely type, or at least a little bit. You find yourself. You might find that surprising, but do you think... But do you think that might be a little true? You know what they say, though. We're all a bit lonely every now and then. We'll probably keep this fact of life to yourself, though. But if there's one thing that brings us all together, it's our need to go it solo. So a lonely and solitary guy like you... will be a Bulbasaur. Okay! Okay! And finally, who will be my partner? I get to choose my partner. Alright. If I'm not mistaken, I can pick Charmander here, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I'll choose Charmander, and I'm gonna name him after a friend of mine. La 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 la. -la. All right. Now that that's done, yes. All right, we're all set to go. Let's go. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Alrighty, let's do it. Chapter 1. A Storm at Sea. Whoa! Are, are you okay? No, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, I can't. Hold on. Whoa!
This looks a lot nicer during the day. Just saying. Where... where am I? There I am. I can't... drifting off. Hmm. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! The footprint, the footprint. The footprint is Charmanders! The footprint is Charmanders! Wow! That was too shocking! <sighs> I can't. I can't work out the courage to go in after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... I thought that by holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Poor guy. Poor guy. Hey, Zubat, did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. That little wimp was pacing around. He had something good, right? That little wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. Crabby blowing the bubbles in the wind. Look at them bubbles. There's two suns. That's awkward. <laughs> oh wow! What a pretty sight! When the weather's good, the gravity come out at sundown and blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting of the sun rays off the waves. It's always beautiful. It makes me feel good to be here, like always. Come here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? Whoa! So much collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? You're awake! That's a relief. Where, where am I? You weren't moving, and I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Matt. I'm glad to meet you. And who are you? i never seen you around before. What? You say you're a human? <laughs> you look like a totally normal Bulbasaur to me. It's true! I've turned into a Bulbasaur! But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling my leg? Some kind of trick on me? No, you're telling the truth? Alright then, your name. What's your name? My name? Oh, that's right, my name is... Okay. I'm gonna go with my Discord name for this one. Alright. Oh, 
What's your name? Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. Sorry I, that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. Ouch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Can't figure it out? We've won in the mess with you. Can't face up? It's up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> We're not... Not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect you to be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> Oh, what do I do? It's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... <sighs> no, there's no time to waste. I gotta get it back. Hey, can I... Can you get into you to help me? Yeah. Really? You really help? Thank you. Let's go quickly. All right. Let's do it. Which cave? Let's do this first before we continue. Uh, we need to go to options, pop screen, show the team stats. Yes. There we go. Let's go. Whee! Proceed. the game plenty of times that I do know exactly the mechanics of it. Not this game specific, like, like multiple games, like, uh, like multiple versions of this game. Like, case and points, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team, I played pretty much all of them. This is like a really awesome game. It's a really good game. Like, Without question, each cave pit. Uh, hey! Well, well, if it isn't an old friend, the big chicken. Ugh. Give me, give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure! It means everything to me! Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we hoped for, I'd say. We'd ought to try selling it. Who knows? It might get a good price. Whoa! <laughs> All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you... If you want it back that badly, come and get it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah! Whoa. There goes the bat. Yeah. He's down. Yay! We did it! Oh, wow, wow. Ugh. We got roughed up. Bless it. How do we get wiped out by wimps like that? Here you go, take it back. Whoa, don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. Yee! 
Oh, it's my relic fragment! Am I ever glad? I actually did manage to get it back! It's only because you agreed to help me, Heart. Thank you, Heart. <laughs> Thank you, seriously! I only help because I managed to be there. Was it the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here, this is what... Here, here's what they stole. It's a relic fragment. At least... Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment... It's my personal treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I've always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Intros full of treasure and strange relics? Uncharted territories? Veiled in darkness? And new lands just waiting to be discovered? Such places must be full of unimaginable gold and treasure and stored in history. It wouldn't be amazing to wouldn't it be amazing to visit historical discoveries. That's what I always dream of. It's so exciting to me. So one day, I just have I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? It's the subscription born in a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. This, there is a strange description. I've never seen any pattern like this. There must be some significance to this pattern. The relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, the areas where precious treasures lie. At least, that's the feeling I get. I want to join an exploration team. The fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I checked it out. What about you, Heart? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere you to go and stay after this? If not, can I ask you a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Heart. So will you, please? W whoa what should I do? I'm getting recruited right out of the blue! I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? Yes! It's true, I have nowhere to go, so I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with them all after now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's it. Yes? Really? You form an exploration team with me? Yes, thank you! We're going to make a great combination. Let's make this work. First, we, we should go to Wiggly Stop's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train to become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough, but I... But let's give it our best heart. Yeah! <laughs> and so, Matt and Hart formed an exploration team and turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. Here we go. All right. Yes, let's save. Save complete. All right. The new guild recruits. This is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Y yikes! This isn't. Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No. I've got heart with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Who's footprint? Who's footprint? Who's footprint is Charmander's! The footprint is Charmander's! What? Ah! Uh, no. I have to be strong. You may enter. Someone's with you. Get that stranger to stand up there. 
They probably meant you, Hart. They said to stand up here. There's this grate covering the hole. It made, it's made so no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feet, or... Hey, you, stranger! Get out of the grate! Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Who's footprint? Who's footprint? The footprint is... The footprint is... Um... What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's wrong? Sentry Diglett! Um, hey! Um, the footprint is... Uh, maybe Bulbasaur's? Maybe Bulbasaur's? What? Maybe? But it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Uh, this is pretty crummy. Taking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. Is, that is your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> what? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any Bulbasaur around these parts. But you don't seem to be bad. Good. Okay, good enough. Hey there. Whoa! I'm so nervous, so jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Let's... Okay, let's go in. La 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 la. There's a hatch that leads underground here. This is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokemon. I wonder if they're all in exploration teams. Excuse me. It was you two that just came in, right? Yes. I'm Chatos. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I am the Master Wigglytuff's right hand Pokemon. Now, shoot! Leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off we go, if you please. No, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we did. We want to be a trained as an exploration team. What? Exploration team? It's right to find a kid and... Like this is the one to apprentice at the guild. Especially given a hard training is. Surely our steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me? Is the exploration team really that fear? What? Well, no! No, no, no! It's not true in the slightest! Our training program for expression team is easy as can be! Well, well, well! I wish you had told me you up front you wanted to be an expression team! <laughs> His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's get your team signed up right away! Follow me! Oh, anything wrong? Come on! Over here! Quickly, please! This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is its way. Come along, please. Wow, there's two floors under the ground. But you still see us sign. Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built onto the side of a cliff. The only natural, it's only natural you'd be able to see our sign. Oh. <laughs> now we're here at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Shadbot, I'm coming in. Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our Guild as apprentices. Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? Hiya! I'm Wigglytuff, and I'm the Guild's Guildmaster. If you want to form an exploration team, then, go, then let's go for it. First, we must register your exploration team's name. So, tell me your team's name. Oh, our team's name? I, I didn't think of that. So, what do you think would be a good name for us, Hart? Uh, Pokey Pals. That's if I had Chimchar and Piplop. <laughs> That's their name. Uh, so I'm going to do a fire and grass.
Emberwood. That sounds good. Team Emberwood. That sounds like a good name right there. Sounds very fantasy-like. Is the name Emberwood okay? Yeah? Emberwood? Team Emberwood. Yeah, that's a good name. That's <laughs> success. All settled then. I'll register your team as Team Emberwood. Registering? Registering? Oh, register! Utah! Congratulations! From now on, you're an official exploration team! I present to you with this commemoration. Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Yup, it it's what every exploration team needs. Quick, open it up! There's, there are all sorts of great items in here. That's our exploration team bag. It's your official team identification. And there's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your successes as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have the peek inside your treasure bag. Power band and the minty bow. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. Thank you! We'll do our best! Yup. But you're only apprenticing for now, so do your best to trade. We will! Let's always do our best, Art. Yay! <laughs> this is your room! Great! We get fed! You will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow, so rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late, get to sleep early tonight. That is all. Oh, are you still awake, Hart? My heart's been racing all day after every little thing. I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Whitley Tough would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're all we're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Hart. Good night. Um now all of a sudden I'm prentising at the guild. I gotta admit I'm pretty excited. It's pretty exciting to be in an exploration team. It's fun to be friends with Matt. But first things first. Who am I? How'd I turn into a Pokemon? How'd I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, everything should come clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. They're both asleep. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Yay! I can now record progress from climbing onto my bed from now on. Yay! <laughs> the next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Ugh, my head is pounding. What a ridiculous of that noise. It's almost blasted my eardrums. Hey, why are you still asleep? Wake up! Uh, my poor ears. Come on, snap out of it. I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for a morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it. Guildmaster Willie Tough has got a big temper. If you make him lose it, wow, well, yeah, it wouldn't be the one very, that would be one very scary scene. <laughs> I've got goosebumps just thinking about it, yeesh! So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got a plate! Yo, so get it in gear! Uh, my ears are still ringing? What did he say? Something about getting ready? Uh, oh yeah! We signed up as apprentices at Wizzy Tub's Hill, that's right! But that means... Wow, we totally overslept! We gotta hurry, Hart! <laughs> 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 
You're late, rookies! Gosh, your voice is ridiculously loud! <sighs> Everyone seems to be present! Very well, let us conduct our morning address! Your master, the guild is in full attendance! Thank you, guild master. Please address the crew. You got that right. Yeah, looks like he's wide awake. Yeah, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Gummaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget the morning tears. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One. Don't shirk work. Two. Run away and pay! Three! Smiles go for miles! Okay, Pokemon, get to work! Hooray! Hey, you shouldn't just be wandering around here. You two come here. Beginners, we'll have to start off with this assignment. This is a job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep. Because the flow of time is getting messed up, like it's wreaking havoc, right? Which means a lot of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up? Time is in hours and minutes. Do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have noticed a lot of noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, it's unknown if this is because of time's influence. There has been also a mis massive outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons? So hard. You know how we got my brother Fagman back yesterday? The place we he found it was a mystery dungeon. The mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. If you even lose half your items or more, finally, you'll get kicked out. There are very strange places, but every time you go in, one, go inside one, there's always new things to discover. They're really fantastic places. Really fantastic places to go exploring. Yeah, I can speak. <laughs> well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself, to me. I can't just settle down with if that pearl isn't on top, in the proper place on top my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be in a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. So, oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help. Expression team members. From Spoink. Wait a second. We're going to fetch an item someone dropped? I would rather go do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places, things like that. Hush! Yikes! It's important that your rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sit back here if either of you faints. You'll lose half your money, and you can lose half your items or more. You must be careful. If you've understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. <sighs> this must be the bus entrance. Spoink's mission description said the pearl is deep down on the B7 half level. It sounds like a seriously dangerous place. Be careful. Let's do our best. Alright, here we go.
We can now hold one item each. And our back can hold 16. Level six, sweet. So I got more power. Okay, we got a duo couple. That ain't bad. Okay. Keep going. trying to attack you! There we go. Here we go. Let's try to run through it. Down the stairs. Good job. Good job. Four three. be able to get more health, and it'll be easier for me to survive. Strategically, the leech seems good. Okay, we got gummies. We got a stun seed. Ooh, that'll help. Stun will make the opponent paralyzed. That's always good. E4F, alright. Monster, you got this. Ow. Yeah, there you go. You learned Ember. Sweet. Tackle. That's on. Alright. B5F.
It'll leave seed for me, okay. Oh, it couldn't be planted on the seed, okay. Couldn't plant it, okay. Wasn't today hectic? So much happened, but I'm 
couldn't believe that our first job was a success. It was really upsetting how Wiggly Tough Skill took most of the money. But it's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy today, though, was getting thanked by Spoink. Ugh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night, Heart. La 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 la. The scream. And that will be... Believe this or not, and believe this or not, that will be the end of part one right there. Yeah, it took 40 minutes. So, um, what's going to happen is, like I said, I'm going to be doing multiple parts on this. So, yeah. Have yourself a good day, guys. And uh, I'll see you here, hopefully soonish.